Hey everybody, KC here. I have another one for you today from the Surprise and Delight file. Uh, this one actually comes from uh, one of my younger sisters, uh, Amy, who is a uh, media specialist at a elementary school here in Connecticut. And, um, you know, she's read some of the Surprise and Delight stories that we've had on Morning Newsbeat. I can't believe she actually reads Morning Newsbeat, but hey, listen, I think it's great. And uh, she wrote me a note to say that um, she follows a bunch of kid authors and illustrators on Instagram. And one of the things that they do, uh, a lot of these authors and illustrators do on Instagram, is they let readers know uh, when they've got a new book coming out. And they, and they, what they do is they make copies of that book, often personalized, signed, that sort of thing, available at their local bookstores, the local bookstore of the, of the, uh, the writer or illustrator. And that allows um, people who are following them to then order those books from the bookstore, and uh, which I think is totally cool. And it's a really smart use of social media to communicate with people who may not necessarily live in, in your market. And uh, so Amy did this, and there's somebody that she really likes, so she ordered two books. And then the bookstores did something interesting. They said, pay us an extra $2 and we'll send you a mystery book. And Amy was intrigued, so couldn't, you know, you couldn't resist, sent them the extra $2 as part of the deal. And, and then she got another book back. She got this uh, Puppets and Storytime book, which is absolutely appropriate for what she does in her job. And I think this is, you know, smart on a whole number of levels. First of all, it's a really good use of social media to reach out to people beyond where you happen to be. Um, and it's a really good idea to say, listen, we, can, we want to send you something special, something different. Now, you can, you can throw them in a sample for nothing. You can order, you can say $2, we'll send you something that's going to have a lot more value than that, whatever it happens to be. It's a great way of creating a sense of community between uh, the person who's creating the product or selling the pro and or selling the product and the people who are consuming the product. It, it works in bookstores. There's no reason in the world it can't work for supermarkets and other kinds of retailers. You know, you have, you're going to have people who may follow you who used to go to your stores. They don't live near you anymore. You may find ways to communicate with them, sell them stuff that they're not able to get in their home market, and then you can actually send them something special, something different. One of the great things that we've learned from the pandemic is how easy it is to train. It's an Amtrak train going by. I have a train tracks about 150 yards from my house. Um, you know, one of the things that we've learned through the pandemic is how fluid that we all can be in terms of how we communicate with our shoppers, okay, and how we can get shoppers that we may not have been able to get, be get before just by the offering them something different, some, uh, something original. Again, if bookstores can do it, there's no reason in the world retailers can't do it. Anyway, that's what's on my mind this morning. And as always, I want to hear what's on your mind.